capacitance circuit with a 1000 ohm resistor. Discharge it for me, Craig, please. And let go. And then, um, when you're ready, just press the charge button and hold it for me, please. So as the capacitor begins to charge, the voltage of the supply is 3 volts. So you see here it ends up at 3 volts. But what we're looking at with current is current reducing to zero. It reduces to zero because the charges are on the plates, either, either side of the capacitor, and they can't move at that stage. Press discharge for me, please. When you discharge, you'll notice that the, the voltage then reduces down to zero from the full voltage of the supply of 3 volts. The current uh, then goes from a negative value back to zero again. This is because there's an insulator between the two plates, so the current can't flow in its original direction, if you like, clockwise. It has to go anti-clockwise because um, of the insulator that is in between there, so it ends up flowing back to the battery. All charges go back to the battery, and because there's no charges moving about the circuit, there is no electrical current. There is also no voltage at this point either.